Drinking and driving and the problem in Central Texas. Austin leaders say the city is going to have to get creative to make the city's streets a little less dangerous. KITV's Betty Cross joins us live from Central Austin tonight. Now the police chief even wants a change. That's right. Police Chief Art Acevedo thinks one solution to getting drunk drivers off city streets is putting more cabs on the streets. So we decided to check the numbers, and here's what we found. Yellow Cab has 461 permits to operate cabs in the city. Austin Cab has 187, and Lone Star Cab got 108 permits. Add them all together, 756 permits, or 756 cabs operating in Austin. Now, some don't think that's enough, especially for big events like South by Southwest, Formula One, and Austin City Limits. There you go. Yeah. Long lines are as much a part of South by Southwest as music, film. There you go. Have fun. And interactive. Welcome to Austin. Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy. But this year, some of the biggest waits weren't for concerts <laughs> or movie premieres. They were for. We do need help. Taxi cabs. We don't have enough cabs. Taxi drivers say people waited longer for a cab at this year's South by Southwest than ever before. Between an hour and a half to two hours. Enough time that Austin police think some might drive drunk instead of waiting for a safe ride home. Try to get a taxi uh, on, on any weekend night, but then add a special event night uh, or nights past midnight. Good luck. The solution may seem simple. Get more cabs on Austin streets. But all available taxi permits have been issued, and upping the number requires a council vote to change the city code. Have a good day. Thank you. I think we need to have everything on the table. Austin Council Member Laura Morrison says that includes possibly issuing temporary taxi permits during big events. Another option? The idea of having a citywide dispatch system. Right now, each of Austin's cab companies has its own dispatch system. Centralizing the service would allow customers to connect quickly to all three. Of course, I have no idea how much that costs. I have no idea what the ramifications are. But, you know, people need to brainstorm about finding some creative solutions. And the drunk driving problem is only expected to continue to get worse. The police chief told me that Thursday nights are just as bad as Fridays and Saturdays now. And, of course, we all see so many more big events coming to Austin all the time. Reporting in Central Austin, Betty Cross, KITV News.